Oh my gosh, this is so long. Welcome to my home. Your new brownstone. Right, exactly. Because we were, how long ago was that that we was, filmed your other place I think for Quintessence? three years ago. So I've been here, I moved in pre-COVID and you know, I was away for a bit and back now. You've done everything from scratch, all you. Exactly. 24 seven. It is beyond, it's so you right away. Oh, Fine. thank you so much. I mean, I'm already seeing some of the elements that were in your old place. My other townhouse is like 10 blocks away, but I purchased this townhouse because of the moldings. Yes. And because of all of the working fireplaces. How wow. many fireplaces are there? Six. What? I know. Yeah, yes. I love, I love this sort of romance of the brownstones and I, installed these um, vintage uh, chevron floors and just tried to sort of be respectful of the history of the home. You also talk about when you design for others and particularly for yourself that you really want to be true to yourself. What do you mean by that? With interior design in general, I really, it's a it's sort of existential journey and to develop a, your own personal style and have it reflected in your home. For you, I know nature, color. Nature, color. I mean, I like things to feel a little bit weird. So surrealism, also some sparkle disco. And since I was born in California and then, you know, sort of off the grid, this sort of tropical nature inspired interior is, you know, it's very close to like my sensibilities and what I like to live with. I'm really looking at this molding that you talked about. Now I'm kind of obsessing over it because it really grounds and almost guides you seamlessly from right. open and space it's to nice, open space. Yeah, and it's nice that this dining room is, you know, it's just completely open to everything. The kitchen, the terrace, the garden, the living room. I hope that people will be inspired that right. a family dining room doesn't mean basic, functional. I also think it's so wonderful to mix you know, the traditional architecture and different fabrics. And then I have a contemporary yes. table that's like Windexed, it's clean, you know, it's, there's a lot of practicality also in this design that it makes it family friendly. You know, I think in my interiors, I'm always looking for the balance. So if, you know, the artwork by my friend or, you know, this Christopher Highland fabric is robust and you know has a lot of presence and impactful then i want to have take a respite a quiet break and have like a quiet dining table i bet you a lot of people would have looked at this space before you moved in and thought well where do we put the dining room and where did the kids right. all sit right and you somehow created within this open space its own area of kind of almost privacy right. it feels very kind of sacred family gather here I love that. And oh, I love that you. you have artwork from friends. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, this is uh, Lichtenstein that Bob Stern, when I um, worked for him, he gifted it to me. When he was made dean at Yale Architecture, we took the wallpaper and it was like scraps. And he's like, you can have them. I'm like, great. We've talked about this being a family space, but over here, is a whole moment of well, that's should the, it just be friends the, the, coming no, over for a drink? The party, that's the party. This is place. the party. Yeah. So Business I mean, in the front and party in the back, like exactly, right over here. So exactly. how great is this? So yeah. So we and we definitely do do that. Like we'll have dinners and you know we play the music and this is um, 
an artwork by another friend, Yvonne Navarro, and drinks. And, and again, this is a very contemporary, you know, USM piece. And then I have it, you know, with snake rugs and traditional fabrics and a Pierre Poulon chair. So it's really very much a mix of not only sensibilities that resonate with me and my, what I've lived, but also a mix of different styles. And it feels like it's one story, right? And I want to go right into this kitchen because I have a couple of big questions to ask sure. you about this space. I am so crazy about this island and how you covered it with marble. Can you cut on this? It like Abso absolutely. So this is it's so beautiful. I, it, I it's amazing. Want... This is an IKEA kitchen. I really wanted a stone that was actually like almost bad taste. You know, it's just like. Crazy stone, I replaced the... It's got green in it. I've never seen marble with a kind of yeah. very pronounced green coat, like a moss. So yeah, it's such an Ikea kitchen and it's very, you know, super functional because it's obviously not very big. And then... But it feels it, big. Yeah, no, I mean, it completely works. And then I, that light fixture was, I left it here. And this is um, from Connecticut Cornwall. There's an um, architect who makes these um when you know sort of sculptures with feathers so something again to i i really like an interior to have surprising moments because i think it wakes people up and i want that sort of vitality and surprise and joy and also comfort vitality is such a perfect word um you don't get a lot of vitality sometimes in city kitchens right because people are packing whatever they can into a small space. And here you're almost luxuriating because you picked such interesting um, dichotomy between um, surface and textures. Now, when you say Ikea, the cabinets, and how about this hardware? No, this hardware I purchased um, online. Okay, so, so you tricked it, it up. I, I, you yeah. got the cabinets, but yep. you took off whatever yeah. they came with. Yeah. Again, back to the lighting, that is to me the summation of everything here, right? You've got the original, right? Lighting exactly. fixture, and then you kind of, pushed in like two very different dinner partners at a great dinner party, right. this whimsical lighting fixture. Yeah, and they're like, fixture. I think they kind of fell in love. They did. They're, kind of or they're definitely love. flirting. They're definitely <laughs> flirting. I can't wait to see upstairs. How many floors are there again? There are four floors. Four. Yes. All right, stop for a moment and let's pay homage to this situation. I, know. I custom wallpaper SKL and I, my only directive was I wanted to feel like a tropical rainforest and I feel like they killed it. It sort of refers back to what we were speaking about in the dining room. I love pops of color, mm -hmm. but then it's like pull back and have, you know, this moment that's so lush, the black and white, and I just think it's more impactful. I love that moment of whimsy up there. Thank right? you. Yes, that's I mean, I, yeah, dry flowers created with, and there is a theme of snakes, sort of the Garden of Eden and sort of my sensibility to nature. So I kind of thread that throughout the narrative of the home. So I, I love decorating children's rooms and I like to decorate them in a way that captures their imagination, their you know, desire for travel and creation and fantasy. But I also always decorate them as an adult room. I love textiles from around the world because I think it encourages you know, kids to like have an open mind to different cultures and different travel. Um, but it's definitely um, mature. So I don't pander to like the child aesthetic. This is our bedroom. Okay, you totally knocked it out of the park on this one. Thank Look you. at this bed. I know, I, I designed it myself and of course you did yeah i wanted it to feel like low and groovy but it's like a giant like plush toy <laughs> meant so to serve like it's... oh my gosh and then again that glamorous exactly sparkle but also masculine textile oh good my on... husband will be happy that's what i'm saying i bet you he was like i am i will accept sparkle but i need to yeah, have some exactly. kind of hexagon pattern in exactly. there exactly and another one of the how many six fireplaces yeah those are my beloved mantles and then oh. you know this is a textile from nicaragua that we sort of made this um sort of seat to put your shoes on and it's such a surprise and i love it and i know was that little window seat moment in front of the fire already there and no you... this i mean we left the footprint of the house except for this floor because 
I needed a closet. Right. So this was the only floor that we renovated. And then I replaced the floor throughout and then renovated the bathroom and kitchen. But, um, but so that's like that you thought, I want to have a little moment to put my shoes on and, and be in front of the fireplace. fireplace. And then you upholstered it is really genius and Thank surprising. You. Thank you. Okay, I don't know. I kind of want to look at your closet right away. And I also want to look at your bathroom right away. So where are we going? Let's um, do the, bathroom. Let's do bathroom. Perfect. Okay, great. All right. I well, mean, yeah, I mean, I think this is just about finishes. I mean, I wanted it to be glamorous. So it's I like have, a nightclub. Yeah, unlacquered brass, terrazzo. And then this sort of kind of humor is this lace that's maybe granny and flowers, but I think in this context of like the sort of hard edge terrazzo. It softens it. It it's... softens it and makes it like personal to me. And then I really enjoy just all of the white yes. hardware as far as, you know, this just is a little such a surprise. unexpected detail. I feel like, okay, I just renovated a bunch of bathrooms and I was not shown these choices. I mean, I don't know if you noticed in my kitchen, unexpectedly. The blue? The blue. Totally saw that. Was gonna, forgot to ask you. I mean, it was just an element of surprise. Why be safe? Okay, don't think that you're just going to walk by your closet because ah! I don't usually have a need to go and look at people's right, closets, right. except for you because I just see all your glam stuff your accessories, your clothing. I see some boas and feathers and everything that, it's kind of like your home. I, I know, mean, I like how there's like a sparkle section in there. There's a sparkle <laughs> section. I love it. Oh my gosh, look at those blue sparkle boots. What? I know, I know. Those you were didn't like... feel like wearing those for me today? I'm a little oh. disappointed. Exactly, in fact, why the hell not? Let me put them on now. Yeah, on, yeah, on your, <laughs> wait, on your shoe sitting area right here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> they're so great I know they're... I love everything you have because I know that there's great stories behind it oh my gosh look at like everything has changed I know now I, I feel, feel I like feel... ridiculously boring I feel I feel different too I feel, like I, I, I feel like you're different like I have to talk to you a little bit differently I have to give you new respect and reverence okay so look at this this is like an office slash movie Me entertainment media and sleeper sofa sleeper so sofa, this is like so a catch-all Room. I remember these curtains. These are basically, I just buy the white silk at the um, fabric market and someone dip dyed them for me. Okay, they, I want them to do that like for me and everything. Like I want to dress like that. I know, I know, it's amazing. Thank you to the person that does that. For and then all your books. And does your husband sometimes work up here too? Or? Well, during, yeah, I mean, this was his office, but we definitely work here and we definitely have guests and we definitely watch movies. Like this is a this is a very well used, used room. room. And again, snakeskin pillows with Fortu and then the Fortuny. Fortuny. Oh, okay. Actually, we're the and Mexican, <laughs> Mexican. Yes, I mean Mexican they all leather. live so happily yeah. together. This is crazy. Look at this. I know, I know. That's like that. Basically, sums up my aesthetic. The whole thing done. Don't miss another video visit. Click on the orange cue to subscribe and have Quintessence virtually delivered from our doorstep to yours.